another episode of Develop, Integrate, and Sustain TV, keeping it simple. Today we're going to look over a drawing related to thin computing, and we're going to specifically talk about the differences between client process thin computing and server process thin computing. Let's take a look here at this example. So here in a thin computing environment, you have a, a storage, which in all thin computing environments you need a storage environment right and it holds the image the personality of the data uh, the users data right personality settings personal data all that good stuff resides at the server itself this is not a difference in the in a client or a server based thin environment both of those environments server and client based uh, process thin computing have data stored at a centralized location so no difference there between the two technologies but there is a difference when you start talking a little bit about where the processing power for the users request comes from this represents here a users desktop running uh, a Vista or a Linux environment or a, a Windows XP environment where does the processing itself occur that's the question we're answering today in a client based thin computing environment the image or the executable itself is actually delivered down to the client's desktop. Some great examples of client based thin computing are OS streaming and VDI in a synchronous mode. So, VDI in a synchronous mode means that the VDI image resides here local on the desktop and completes its functions um, as with all the processing power here. A standard VDI image resides here at the server and just issues out, um, you know, the desktop image, the um, keyboard, mouse, monitor, that type of thing over the wire. But here, OS streaming image, what happens is when you when you boot up the client here, he goes out to the server, he grabs his executable, his operating system, the operating system loads down on the client, and then. Um, he takes and will stream out the applications themselves. In this example, Outlook, Word, PowerPoint gets streamed. Eh, Maybe part of the original image or not. Whatever the case is, the bottom line is the processing power occurs here at the desktop. It does not occur at the server. So what does that create in a thin computing environment? Well, with a client-based or client process thin computing model that means that this client would be great for things like um, if you're doing a lot of video on this client or maybe you're doing imaging like in a uh, hospital environment where you're handling a lot of imaging maybe there are certain needs on this client that require um, a lot of peripherals that maybe your thin computing server process model doesn't support very well those type of things are all great applications for client process thin computing. You can beef up this bad boy here, this client, and make it do uh, everything that you need to do. It's really kind of like having a fat client, but centrally managed. So the image here, remember, resides here at the server, but the executables are pounded out to the client itself. So it's kind of like having uh, the best of both worlds here. All right, another great use or um, attribute of a client process thin computing model is that your server resources are are minimal so in a server processed thin computing model your, your servers are doing all the processing so you gotta have some horsepower here on your server farm um, with a client process thin computing all it's holding are the executables and because all it's holding are executables then the server process requirements are minimal okay so that's a basic overview of client process thin computing. Please see the uh, episode on server process thin computing to understand what the difference is. Again, just real quick, client process thin computing. Some of the common technologies you'll find are OS streaming and synchronous VDI technology. Those are probably the two most common ones. And all of the processing power occurs at the client. The image itself resides here centrally but just streams out executables to be executed at the client processed at the client thanks again for taking the time today I hope you learned something tune into other episodes have a great day